Are we in this thing? Is the melanin on? Yes, it is. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. Hope that you are doing fabulous, darling. I am doing well. Make sure to go ahead and thumbs up this video. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you follow your girl on social media, at Miss TP90. You have seen the title correctly. It is time for another Love and Hip Hop Hollywood review. Honey, this one didn't disappoint either. Now, I will say last week's was real, real good. This one wasn't horrible. It was petty as hell, but I enjoyed it. So down below, get it popping in the comment section. So yeah, let's get on into it. We start this episode out with Lyrica, Brooke, and Princess Love. They all talking about the random chat that's been going on in their lives. So we're going to start out with Ray J. He ain't been home in six days. And I'm like, bro, you know what? I don't really understand their relationship, how you can just up, up, and away. You go after an argument, and you just leave about the country for six damn days. You go to a whole nother state, sir. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Maybe that's little their little dysfunctional web that they enjoy. I don't know. I'm not gonna try to analyze Princess Love and Ray J's crazy ass marriage. I'm not gonna try to do it. Then she took it to another level. She went ahead and deleted everything, every picture she done took with Ray J off of social media. She took the Norwood off her name. I said, girl, you, well, you know it's real now if it's off of social media. Like people, it's not like you told somebody, girl, it's not working out. No, you go on social media, you delete everything. That's how you know it's a wrap. Y'all remember Brooke, Booby, and Marcus from last season, that crazy ass love triangle, right, right, right. So I'm guessing boobies out of the picture. So now she wants Marcus. I'm so confused with that. But anyway, she wants Marcus. Uh, they spent all of the holidays together. She was like, we spent St. Patty's Day, National Margarita Day, National Wine Day, National Cheese Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas. I was like, okay, girl, you spent every holiday. And then I'm guessing during the holiday season, he was showing the ring to her mama or something like that. And she ended up jacking the ring and wearing it. I'm like, first of all, ma'am, that's crazy as hell. Uh-uh. Ooh, 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 ah, uh, ah. Uh. What are you doing, girl? Brooke, girl, mm-mm. You looking real crazy this season. I'm sorry. And this is only episode number two. She talking about she's going to be celibate until she gets married. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Yet, you're telling um, Marcus he can go out and have a stang lang everywhere, but you're going to be sitting in the background. Girl, I don't have time. I don't have time for Brooke this season. I needed a water break fooling with Brooke ass. I can't. We're going to talk about Lyrica and K. Michelle. Lyrica brings up the whole safari situation and how she apparently wanted to be in his safari. Brooke said this isn't the first time she heard about this little safari, this flirting, because they did a Facebook Live or something, and they were flirting and kiki in and I said, ooh, ar, ooh, ain't that Brandy's brother here come Ray J to the little shindiggy or whatever whatever the hell that was I don't even know what the hell this event was it's a whole Brandy versus princess and I remember that on the Instagram chat it was a mess princess was like what are you doing popping up here I pop up wherever I want to pop up I'm like Ray J you are not whore like what you doing cuz like I don't understand cuz what you doing we not on the same page princess <laughs> I want you to apologize to the whole family at the baby's gender reveal. I'm sitting here like, bro, this is a celebration of the reveal of the gender. They are so damn petty. Like, I'm so confused. I'm like, y'all are getting ready to bring this blessing into the world. Y'all were trying so hard to have a baby. Now you're getting ready to have the baby. And you can't even enjoy the lead up to the baby coming out the coop. Day one's at the studio. Marcus comes by. And they're talking about what's going on with the women in their lives. Marcus was like, yo, I moved on. Brooke took the ring. Like, I don't know what she doing with that. Like, he's really on a different wave. He's dating. He's out and about. He's happy. And he's like, I don't know what the hell Brooke is doing. I'm like, mm. Something got a little murky on the phone. A1 ends up telling Marcus what happened was between K. Michelle and Lyrica and him. And now they social media thugs. You know what I'm saying? They going on live and everything. Talking about, fuck you, K. Michelle. You ain't shit. I'm like, oh, okay. That's what we do now, if y'all have noticed. We go to social media to air out everything, to squash things, to handle business. It's amazing. If social media fell off the planet today, what would we do, including myself? I don't know. One ends up telling Marcus about the whole safari thing. And he's like, yo, bro, I heard that too. He heard it from Brooke. But still, he heard it as well. So that means it's, going, it's all over the place. Now, personally, I never heard anything about safari and Lyrica. One, because I didn't give a damn, okay? The only thing I heard about was safari's little safari. Well, that ain't a little safari, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I can't do with VH1 and Mona Me? This music, the whole setup. I'm gonna go see about that right now, cuz. A1 walks out of the studio with his glitter jacket, and he's ready to go. I'm like, huh? what? 
Which leads us to something else that I don't really care about. Uh, K. Michelle and Bridget. I don't know what it is about Bridget. She just rubs me the wrong way. I'm not enjoying her wig this seasonal. I don't know. She just makes me go, K. Michelle said orange head ass lyrica. I'm done. <laughs> Bridget wants Paris and K. Michelle to reconcile because she's friends with both of them and she sees how both of them are in the wrong. And I say, you know what? That's one thing Bridget, she does sometimes. She likes people to be in perfect harmony even though she'd be on some bullshit half the time. But okay. K. Michelle was like, that's nice. A nice little kumbaya. But let me tell you what the hell she did to me about eight years ago. I was like, oh my God. Basically, um, she was preggers, okay? And she wanted, you know, um, Polly wanted a cracker. So she got her assistant to go get her, you know, some little crackers and some ginger ale. And the assistant had her credit card and it said, beep, beep, who got the keys to the Jeep? We don't have any money on this card, okay? So basically, come to find out, there was some type of fraudulence going on and it all led back to Petty, okay? Like, I'm cutting you off, boo boo cakes, because ain't no way you're going to have people up and down the road trying to get me some crackers and juice and we can't. You ain't got no money. First of all, why didn't you just spot her? Here you go. Here's about 25, okay? How the hell much does crackers and juice cost? Shit. And what type of limit was on this car? What was going on? Was this one of those, um, you know how you just buy them in the store, the $25 little cars? What was this? But ultimately, I'm really looking at K. Michelle like, girl, talk to her if you want to. I feel as though I've seen so many of K. Michelle's relationships and friendships like, unravel over the years and it's disheartening and it's a little disturbing at the same time apple i was about to say mots <laughs> applesauce apple watts uh, that name child she meets up with lyrica she really wants to apologize so she can go get that bag honey she's like um oops really fucked up i do want to have this business so can we can 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 i buy you a drink now i think I don't know. I don't have anybody in the tank. I would work with A1, please. I love how she apologizes. It, it was like, and can I work with A1? You know what? I gotta respect Apple Watch. I gotta respect her for saying, look, my bad. I really messed up, but I really want to work with this dude because I got dreams just like anybody else, okay? You feel me? And all Ly Lyrica was like, look, you know what? The main reason why I didn't want him working with other female artists was because he was working with me. But now that my shit is kind of popping, go ahead. Have a blast. And here comes A1. I said, you know what, VH1? Y'all just set up. A1 was like, yeah, yeah, you know, you can come on by my promo or whatever, but can you shoe fly? Don't bother me because I need to talk to my wife right now. Lyrica was like, yo, what's wrong with you? Yo, um, what's up with you and Safari? I was like, whoa, just dive in, would ya? Yo, was you trying to fuck him? She was like, oh my God. I was like, okay, Lyrica, girl. You are giving me general hospital. No, she was giving me passions. Y'all remember that show? You are my passion. Y'all remember passions? That was my shit. Look at it now. Love me some passions. But for real, she was giving me drama. She was giving me extra. I was here for it. I was not. I, child, I ain't never seen Lyrica do that. You believe in this lying bitch? She was like, let me see your phone. Gives him the phone. He looks at the message and he's like, um, where are the messages at? Like, these messages are clear, Boo Bear. I delete my messages. What type of gigabyte do you have on your phone? Ain't no need to be deleting your text message. Who deletes text messages? Like, I'm, I'm really confused. I don't have the time to delete text messages. I want to see all the receipts. She was like, I'm not doing this. I was like, hmm, I need my fan. Y'all know when I get hot, I got, hmm. I said, Lyrica girl, you are incriminating yourself. You really are. I'm not doing it. Deleting tech. Girl, what you got there, girl? What you got there? Lyrica throwing shit, getting loud. She want to go to the car. You know it's something when they want to get to the car, honey. I said, where are you going, Lyrica? Where you going? Even the producer was like, go in there and talk to your husband. What the hell you doing? Where y'all here? Get the cameras out of my face. I was like, <laughs> Lyrica girl, you signed a contract. They're gonna be in your face. Like, I mean, deal with it, but come on back in. When I see ya, I fucking hop on sight. I was like, Lyrica, why are you hungry so loud, sweetie? We're talking to you. What are you doing? Like, I'm so confused. This is not about K. Michelle. This is about you being on Safari Safari. What are you doing? Fuck everybody. I was like, Lyrica girl, you are really incriminating yourself, girl. A1 was so chill during this you could tell he didn't want to blow up he was just like yo i mean i don't know why you getting so mad though i mean everybody's talking about this dead ass like dead ass like deceased ass like cremated ass like bring the flowers ass you feel me like 
dead ass. You know what? I'm gonna have to agree with A1. Something is not adding up. I don't... The pieces, child. I can't put them pieces together. I was like, first of all, I don't... The deleted text, child, that's what had me like... <laughs> Brooke Petty and uh, Princess Love are in the building. We're not talking about everything they talking about because we want to get to the good stuff. Here comes Marcus. I don't know where she's like, Brooke is like, I see some chocolate. We see the back of Marcus's donut head ass. Something about Marcus throws me off. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the glasses because he's halfway cute with the glasses off. Ooh, he had plans with somebody else. Here she come, feeling on his booty. He like, hey girl, hey, 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 how you doing? I ain't know you gonna be here. Girl that he's with, I think her name is Stasia. Yeah, and Brooke was like, is this your assistant? Nah, this is not my assistant. Like, nah. Like, this is, um, oh, man, she, um, whoo. Uh, is this your girlfriend, Marcus? Like, when I talked to you this morning, you didn't have a girlfriend. I said, whoo, whoo. Wait, she pulls Marcus to the side and says, look, the arrangement was for you to sow those oats, not to get attached to the oat taker. I said, uh, ma'am. Arrangement is this? He is pulling a you and booby from last season. The plot thickeneth as the world turns. This is some passion shit for your ass. Brooke is so hilarious getting Stasia riled up. Like, I am dying, especially with the ring. She was like, Oh, I love this ring. It's so cute. Stasia, the ring. How she get a ring? He like, Let's go. Let's go. The way he ushered her out of there, I was so done. I was like, and how are you staying around for this? I'm so confused. Oh my God, too much. I don't know. And Brooke just sat there with a smile on her. But that's how I knew she was batshit crazy. That's how I knew something. Her elevator, does, her elevator is out of order, child, because ain't no way. We head to the video shoot for A1. Apple Watts is there. A1 just isn't into it. Just with everything that's going on with Lyrica. You can tell. He's just sitting there. They're like action. He's like, I'm like, sir, how much are you spending on this? Get your ass. Get your Ray J comes through to give love and support. I cannot stand Ray J through this whole thing. Oh man, like, whoa. I mean, Safari's the homie though. Like, you really think so though? We gotta get to the bottom of this, dog. Like, man, you heard this from like multiple people. Two is more than enough people to hear this from, dog. He's the last one you need to be telling something about, sir. Get you and your marriage together. Thank you. Perry and K. Michelle meet on up so that I guess they can squash whatever is going on. Paris dives right in. Can we talk about this situation like what happened was? K. Michelle is crying. You was my best friend. And with you, it was like, girl, can we start with the dramatics, girl? Okay, I see where K. Michelle is coming from. It wasn't even the money, honey. It's the principle of it that you would literally take something not even ask and just start swiping and dicing like girl you can't be doing that to people and honestly k michelle's problem i feel as though she handles things right in the moment with her feelings she's liable to say whatever whenever and not even thinking of the consequences of the certain things that she does put your feeling not on your sleevelet so much but put it in your purse okay that'll be best and thank you paris for finally apologizing for swiping okay and thank you k michelle for apologizing for calling a thief so hopefully i don't know what the hell's gonna happen with their relationship uh, oh my god it was too much it's time for the gender reveal party oh my god it was so awkward to me i didn't feel any love in there I, I don't even know even the decorations i don't know it was just so awkward and weird i didn't like it. jj brings uh princess love over there and he's like yo she agreed to you know do like a public apology go ahead and apologize princess and she like for what i didn't agree to that shit she starts laughing mama Sonya is like that's not funny and i'm like this shit is funny. She embarrassed us, but you know what? I'm gonna deal with you after the baby is born because I lost the baby before and you don't need this stress. And I'm like, oh my, you don't think this shit is stressful? Wow. Brandy was like, you gotta be an example for your child. You took your name down. Like, you don't do that. Personally, they all need to be an example for their future kids, the grandbabies, the cousins, all of them because they so damn petty. That's a petty ass family. <laughs> I can't with princess love i'm not taking marriage advice from somebody who can't even be in a relationship more than 90 days 
I was done. But I said, that's a word though. That's true. You you don't. Mm -mm. Princess was like, it's all about the image. And I'm over it. I don't have to do what they want me to do. I was like, you know what, Princess? You're right. You are a grown ass woman. You do not have to do what they want you to do. But at the same time, you married into this Norwood family, girl. So you that's, that's all you putting by. Oh my God. Lyrica comes out of nowhere. I'm like, wait. Wait a minute. Um, ma'am, not at the gender reveal. No, ma'am, we're not doing this here. The fight is between Brooke and Lyrica because Lyrica's mad that Brooke is spreading all these vicious lies about her wanting to be on Safari Safari. Brooke was like, it's because you're not getting no dick at home. That's, that's probably why you wanted to be with Safari. Ah, Lyrica, I'm always getting dick. I was like, okay, first of all, I'm not gonna have a who's getting dick-a-thon. We're not gonna do that. Lyrica asked where the receipts were up with this whole Safari flirtation and you know, all that sliding in the DMs, whatever. And that's what I wanted to know. Where are the receipts? Because you deleted your text. I, we don't have anything to go off of. Where are the receipts? This reminded me of soul food. When she, <laughs> y'all remember when Terry was like, you fucked my husband. What? That's exact, I mean, Lyrica back back like Brooke is slapped across the face. I said, oh my God, woo, Faith fucked my husband. You remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I felt, I said, oh my God. Oh, Lyrica flipping tables? All oh, at the party, Brooke the whole time was like, I mean, the look she gave her was like, stop it. <laughs> Brooke is doing the most, and it's only episode number two. Dum, dum, dum. A1 goes to meet with Safari. First of all, there's a random car in between the two of them. It's dark, it's late at night. I mean, I was like, what type of standoff is this? Strict. Strict. I haven't done it in so long, I need to get it back. Strict. Ooh, A1 started it off. Why you texting my wife, cuz? Safari was like, why you taking stuff out of your pocket like you gonna do something? <laughs> I was done. They look like little toddlers going back and forth. It was so funny. When Safari said bitches like me, I was done. I was even, I was offended myself. I was like, excuse you, Safari? Yo, Safari ain't that big to be at the cocky. Safari. Those were fighting words. It was on after that. A1 lunged. And that was the end of the episode, son. But down below in the comment section, I would love to know, what did you think about this episode? It was so many things that happened. You just might get a shout out on the next video. Let me go back to episode number one and do some shout outs. Shout out to Quinika Joseph. I miss your reviews, Miss P. Yay. Shout out to Kay Lauren. Thanks for the love. Shout out to Felicia Francis. It's her first time watching. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Tyra Nicole. I appreciate you watching and I'm glad you cracked up. Mimi Smith wanted to know where did my pink pineapple come from I actually got this at Michael's I think I think it was Michael's no no no. I got this from Christmas tree shop shout out to pixel K all the way in England yes Libra Chicago asked where my naughty by nature t-shirt came from and that was I believe I got that from Rue 21 one that I'm wearing today is um hold up no worries, bitch. Okuda <laughs> Matata. Shout out to Bubble0664. Thank you so much for the love. And thank you so much for all the comments. I couldn't hit each and every person, but thank you guys so much for all the love. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.